Hey guys, Ornlu here again, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different here. So, with the uh, there being just a new patch the other day, I thought it would be useful information if I went into the new maps in the map pool with a little bit more depth than I gave in just, like, overall uh, videos, like, about the patches. So I'm going to make a few of these videos just to give you a really brief overview on what the maps are like, how do you play them, what sort of civilizations and strategies are good uh, for 1v1s and for team games. So uh, there are four new maps in this map pool, Islands, Hill Fort, Serengeti, and... Wait, Islands, Hill Fort, Serengeti, and that's it. Never mind, three new maps. <laughs> so what I'm going to do... It's gonna, I'm going to load up a map, and that map is not going to be Crater Lake, because, alas, that is not in the map pool. But I'll just... Uh... Which one shall I start with? Let's do Hillfort. Because uh, it does play a little bit differently. And I'm going to load up a map right now, where we are on All Visible. I'll also load up a, a team game variant just to give you an idea because these maps do play out differently. All right, as you guys can see, here is Hillfort. You have some very weird food options. You have no forage bushes. You have four deer and your normal sheep. And uh, two boar. That means, well, it's going to be a little bit tricky to get your fast castle up and running because, as you can imagine, fast castle is going to be the name of the game. But, unlike your arena or hideout even, booming is going to be somewhat difficult on this map. Uh, as you can see, you are on your hilled forts, but uh, most of the other resources are down below where they are much more exposed. Now, you can go for early aggression on this map, uh, actually, I just realized this right now. There's no fortified palisade gate. So this is just normal palisade gate HP, whereas the walls have 500 HP and likely have better armor, too. Uh, but yes, these are fortified palisade walls, guys. It's a scenario editor-only unit, normally. Uh, so you are more safe to early attacks than, say, on uh, hideout, where you were getting, like, tower rush forwarded all the time. It's going to be a lot harder. Not only are they going uphill, but they have, uh, you know, these bad boys to, to chunk through. Also notably, uh, you have the shallows that surround the base of your hill. Now, you might ask, what is the point of these shallows? They don't really seem to do anything. Well, not really, but what it does mean is that somebody can build a dock somewhere and build a sneaky demo ship, and then kaboom! So you do have to be very, very careful, as random demo hits could certainly ruin your day. So you have to be very careful for that. Uh, beyond that, gold generation, uh, main gold, main stone, you should have a sec. Oh, okay, so I was incorrect about this. It seems like you have two extra tiles of three, or two extra piles of three gold, and then maybe just one extra pile of three stone. So a little bit less gold and stone than a normal map. So when all of that's taken into account, what sort of strategies should you go for? Um... You can go for Feudal Aggression. It is still possible, but it is pretty risky. Personally, I'm going to say Fast Castle, but an aggressive Fast Castle. So fa Fast Castle into something that you can do some damage with. Preferably your castle unique units. So that's where I guess this transitions into the sorts of civilizations I would prefer. So what civilizations can go like Fast Castle plus unique unit the best? I would say that the obvious answers are going to be one, Mayans. Mayans are going to be fantastic here. Fast Castle into Plumed Archers. Uh, you can go ahead and raid all around the uh, the base of the your opponent's hill fort and wherever they're trying to expand their economy. Spanish also come to mind. Same thing, Conquistadors. Burmese with their Arambai. A little bit weaker than Conquistadors, but Burmese overall have the stronger economy. 
Both have excellent monk options as well. Now, Britons are an interesting one because you can certainly go aggressive in Castle Age with them, with uh, forward siege workshops and stuff, but the thing is, they're kind of slow. As in, the, the units themselves are slow. And if you're caught out of position, uh, you could get really, really wrecked. So I, I do like civs with a lot of maneuverability here. Um, other options. Vietnamese, honestly, would be a really good option as well. Vietnamese are pretty good now, guys. Like, just go fast castle uh, rattan archers, and you'll just run around and snipe whatever you want. Uh, notably, rattan archers are actually faster than normal foot archers, as well as being a lot tankier and deal more damage. So I think that's actually a very strong option as well. Organ guns. You could go for it. I know I want to, I know I want to go for it. But uh, that should give you a good idea of what civilizations are going to be uh, excelling on this sort of map. Although you can do from, like, siege, uh, infantry, monk stuff. You can do that, too. I just say it's not quite as good. Oh, Turks! Nearly forgot Turks. Turks are going to be good as well. But just be careful on the gold. So here is the 1v1 generation of the map. And to save myself a lot of time editing, we are just going to make this... Uh... Eh, let's make it a 3v3. And there we go. All that should be fine. All right, see how Hillfort works for team games. This is in the team game map pool as well, by the way, so it is relevant. You have to share the top of your hill with some teammates. You see that there are no walls in between you and your teammates, so it's going to make aggression really hard on the one hand, but if they do break in with a tower rush or something, then, you know, everybody could be in jeopardy. So again, the sorts of civilizations you want to go for here are your fast castle unique unit civs. I think Spanish are going to be a must pick here for that reason. Not only are the conquistadors going to be super powerful, but you also have the ability to go for the trade bonus in the late game and have paladins and all that good stuff. So I definitely think they're a very strong civ. Um, any sort of uh, boom civ would be really good, honestly. It is a much more defensive... Why is there a tile of road right there? What the hell? Why is there a random tile of road? I do not know. But yeah, you are going to kind of have to expand in different directions. You'll have a larger area that's safe behind you. But uh, you kind of are a little bit exposed. And especially just be careful of units running in from you know the left there and the right there. But yeah, uh, Spanish, Mayans, and then uh, like a good cavalry sieve, like Persians or uh, Khmer or something like that. All going to be very, very strong choices. Even Teutons now with their extra armor. As it is going to come down to some very, very big decisive fights as the game goes on. So you want to make sure that you can do some good harassment damage in the mid game, but also be able to go for a big, awesome army in the late game. So I think that sums up our hill fort map pretty well. I'll also make some videos on all the other new maps in the map pool, but I hope you enjoy this content. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.